While Sights and Melody of Memory were set on the three keys needed to save Sora and exploring Kairi's memories, there's something in the game that has been bugging me that Kairi never mentioned to Ansem, Yenza, or Evan after she woke up. During Kairi's deep dive into her memories when she found out that Xehanort was the one who assumingly sent her to Destiny Islands, he said a line that was never mentioned again in later cutscenes. If you arrive in a world neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. We know of this line, but what is said after is extremely ominous of a greater plot in the works. If that happens, you must abandon your search we have failed. Like, what? We, we failed what? This kind of adds to a theory I have about Xehanort having a overarching plan in place, one that is still being played out even after his passing, which is that he sent Kairi to the Destiny Islands to purposely resonate with the Keyblade wielder, which is evident from the earlier dialogue in that cutscene. Xehanort knew she'd find Riku there. I say Riku because remember, Riku technically became one before Sora did, when Terra performed the Keyblade Ceremony with Riku in Birth by Sleep. Sora wouldn't gain his Keyblade until much later in the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1, basically taking Riku's spot. But it all worked out in the end, as we know. Kind of. So, Riku is what brought Kairi to Destiny Islands, funny enough, not Sora, if that statement is meant to be taken at face value. Xehanort even says to Kairi, sleeping in a pod, you see, this is more than an experiment, it's hope, which is extremely out of character for Xehanort, kind of. Him talking about hope is a little weird. I mean, we know his goal was ultimately in the most twisted way possible to save the world. However, this entire cutscene with Apprentice Xehanort implies he has a lot more knowledge than we thought, which I believe is something we'll see play out in Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. Actually, I'm just going to play the whole cutscene so you can see what I mean. This world will be engulfed in darkness. Everything you care about, and everyone you love. If you truly possess the power of a princess of heart, your heart will resonate with the Keyblade wielders, and I believe you can lead me to that wielder's world. That is the only possible way to save ours. You see, this is more than an experiment. It's hope. Like most, you probably believe that nothing exists outside of this world you live in. And yet, there are countless other worlds. You can see them sparkle brilliantly in the night sky. Through that sea of stars, fate will guide your ship to where you are meant to be. However, if you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. If that happens, you must abandon your search. We have failed. I think the most bizarre thing about this cutscene is that Kairi doesn't fully acknowledge this little memory dive she has. Instead, a dream Xehanort appears who she battles until he eventually tells her the knowledge she seeks, even though we had just seen this in a cutscene with Apprentice Xehanort, although she was sleeping. So is the only part that she actually remembers the part that Dream Xehanort told her about? The part about, if you arrive in a world neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy, basically talking about Quadratum. He perceives this line though with, I told you about what would happen if we were to fail. We then get to Kairi waking up, where we don't verbally see Kairi relaying this information, but rather to where they already know the line about that place on the other side. It's the only line they even talk about during the rest of the following scenes. 
So I'm either left to think that Kyrie doesn't remember, didn't tell them, or they just don't care. Which I find either the first or the second one to be the most likely. Failure implies that there was a mission in the first place Kyrie was supposed to play out, and her letting Sora and now Riku go off to who knows where means something terrible is about to happen. Though there might be a few things Xehanort didn't plan out, like for example Kyrie becoming a Keyblade wielder while simultaneously being a Princess of Heart, which might mean Kyrie has some secret ability that puts her completely above other Keyblade wielders, which I honestly have been thinking for years completely, but it actually does seem like they're going towards that. Technically, being one with no darkness in her heart, I feel like would make her a true Keyblade wielder, you could say, potentially at least. I don't know, it's just a thought. One that I do wish to expand upon after I hear some of your thoughts on this and think a little bit more about this myself as well, I just find it extremely odd that out of everything Apprentice Xehanort would relay to Kyrie in this cutscene that only one quote was of interest to the others or even to her. Definitely anticipating more Kyrie involvement in the future though, and I feel like the key to what her involvement will be is in Melody of Memory, in this cutscene, because there's a lot in this cutscene that I feel like is worth analyzing. I might just make a whole video analyzing this cutscene word by word, frame by frame, I don't know, we'll see. However, I would like to say Happy New Year's to everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, you already know what to do. Leave a like, share the video with a friend or a family member, and last but not least, if you have not already, and want to become a part of the union, all you have to do is hit that red little subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye.